Hi, I'm Ashy, and this is Crafty with Ashy. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make the chosen three fish logo on a scarf. If you haven't watched The Chosen, definitely watch The Chosen. I'll link um, their website and YouTube channel below in the description so that you have easy access to that. I'll also link the pattern for the scarf. It's um, on my blog, so I'll link that in the description below. So please do watch the show if you haven't watched it before. So let's jump into the tutorial. The materials that you'll need to crochet the chosen scarf are scissors to cut your yarn, a yarn needle to weave in your ends, unless you use a crochet hook for that. And then I'm gonna use a size F 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. Now this is a very small crochet hook for a weight for yarn, which is what we're gonna use but I don't want my scarf to be super wide. And since this is gonna be a lot of stitches across, I need to use a smaller hook basically to make it a smaller pattern. And then for my yarn, I'm gonna use, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. It's an acrylic yarn weight four. You need pretty much a whole skein of I love this yarn black and then very little of the teal and the gray. So if you wanted to buy smaller skeins of those colors, absolutely go for it. But you do need pretty much a whole skein of I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby in black. Gray beard is what this one's called, but it's the darker gray. And then the teal color they call peacock. Okay, so these are the yarns that I'm going to use for the scarf. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with the background, which is black. So for crocheting off of a chart like this, each box is a single crochet. So I'm just going to start my first row here. Now, when I look at this, I see that I have 27 single crochets across. Now for the foundation chain, since I'm doing single crochet, I'm just gonna add one. So it's 27 plus one, which is 28 chains for the foundation chain. Okay, now I'm gonna work single crochet in black in each chain across, and this is row one. So you can see it's just all the background color, which for me is black. If you wanted to do a white scarf, you could make the background white and then still do the gray and teal for the fish, um, but you can do it kind of however you want. But this first row is all single crochet in black. So I'm gonna do a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and then in each stitch across to get 27 single crochets. Now, if you are not really super familiar with working into the chain or you find that you get kind of wonky, um, twisty looking uh, edge on that first row, then check out my YouTube channel. Um, I have a working into the foundation chain video that's very, very detailed and specific. So you can just um, search it on YouTube, uh, Crafty with Ashy foundation chain, and you should be able to find it. Okay, 27 single crochets in black. Now I'm gonna look at row two and see that it's all the not gray blocks, it's all white blocks. So I'm just gonna do 27 single crochets back across in black. Now I am gonna go ahead and work over this starting tail so that I don't have to weave it in later. To do that, I'm gonna turn like normal and just kind of pull that tail up and line it up with the top of my stitches so that I'm working under that when I'm inserting my hook through the stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then when I yarn over and pull through two, I'm over the top of it. Also, when I turn in single crochet, I do not do a chain one then turn. Some people do, some people don't. I do not. I'd find that I just get more even edges if I don't, but um, you do you, basically. So I'm just gonna carry this tail along that whole way. So I'm putting it right next to that stitch, working under it for the first part of the stitch, and then over it for the last part of the stitch until it runs out basically. And then as I get to the end of that tail, I am gonna kind of pull that tension. It's gonna cause this to curl up a little bit, but I'm gonna pull that tension tighter. And then once I um, get kind of past it where I'm dropping it 
because I can't hold it anymore, right? Then I loosen it back up to get the project back to its normal tension. So there, I can't hold on to it anymore. So I'm just gonna kind of pull this, you can see it's curved. I'm just gonna pull it back out and that keeps it from having a little thing sticking out where it didn't quite get covered, basically. All right, so that was row two. Row three, so super important, when you're working from a crochet chart, all the odd rows, one, three, five, seven, so on, are worked from right to left, and all the even rows are worked from left to right, and that will keep you counting correctly. Um, if you want, you can mark off the rows as you do them so that you don't lose count. But all of the odd rows work from right to left. So you start counting here and count across. And then when you're working an even row, number four, we're gonna work from left to right. So we're gonna start over here. Very important because this pattern is not symmetrical. So if you don't look at it the right direction, you're gonna end up with um, abstract fish. So. <laughs> I'm gonna now start row three, which is gonna be worked from right to left. Note, if you're left-handed, you're gonna do it opposite if you crochet left-handed. Um, if you are left-handed, you're probably used to flipping things around in your brain because that's how the world works for you, and I'm sorry about that, but I don't crochet left-handed, so I'm not gonna do a tutorial that way, but just know that it would be opposite. Work from left to right on odd and right to left on even, only if you're left-handed right-handed, right to left on odd. Okay, so all that, now I'm gonna work row three. So I'm just gonna count, and I have 16 single crochets in my background color of black before I get to a different color. So I'm gonna do that and then show you what to do to change colors. So again, when I turn, I just pull up that loop a little extra and then make my single crochet. I don't do a turning chain. 14, 15, 16. Now on 16, let me get my green ready, or green, gray ready. But on 16, because that's the last stitch in, in black, I'm gonna sing, start my single crochet. I'm gonna insert hook, yarn over, and pull up that loop. Now while I have two loops on my hook, I'm gonna take my next color, which is gray, because these two fish are gray. Um, the chart that's available on my blog is in color. So I didn't print it out in color because I don't have a color printer, but it is in color so that if that makes it easier for you, it's available. So to change to gray, I have those two loops on my hook. Now I just grab the gray yarn and pull up a loop through those two. So basically I'm finishing the single crochet with the new color, okay? Now I wanna make sure that the tension of this loop is correct. So I'm just gonna kind of pull that black yarn down a little bit, okay? Now, just like I worked over that starting tail, I'm gonna work over these yarns so that um, the gray is woven in and I don't have to do it later and so that I can change back to black as needed, okay? So you can see on our pattern, we just have one single crochet in this gray color. So I changed to the, sing I changed to the gray on that number 16. Now number 17 is in gray. So I'm gonna start that single crochet, insert hook, yarn over, pull through. Now this is just one. So I'm still gonna color change back to the next one at the last half. And these are the weirdest ones. It always feels like you're just not doing anything in that color, but I promise it works. So insert hook, yarn over, pull through, and then change back to the black to finish that single crochet, okay? Now I'm gonna drop the gray, pick up the black, and do one single crochet in black. And again, important to make sure that my color that I changed from is pulled to the right tension. And then I'm gonna do my single crochet in black, yarn over, pull through. And then I'm switching right back to gray for this one because I have one more gray here. Okay, 
Again, pull that tension correct. Insert hook, yarn over, pull through, and then again, change back to black because it's just one in gray. As you start building up and having multiple in the same color, it makes kind of more sense again, but um, those ones are kind of funky when you're changing with just one. And I, I did a few trials doing it other ways just to make sure, and I promise this works the best. So again, just I pulled that one out. I'm gonna show you one more time. Insert the hook underneath those yarns that you're carrying along. Yarn over, pull up a loop, okay? Now, instead of finishing in gray, I'm gonna switch to black, yarn over, and pull through both of those loops. Drop the gray, pick up the black. Pull the tension down on the gray, and then do a black single crochet, okay? And now we're gonna finish this row out in black. So it's eight more single crochets in black. So that was one, two, three, eight. Okay, now we're gonna keep carrying along the gray yarn. Okay, so I'm not gonna cut it or anything. Now row four is gonna be worked left to right. So I start with nine single crochets in black. So I turn just like I normally would. Okay, so like a page of a book, turn. And then I wrap that carrying along yarn around and make sure that I'm inserting my hook underneath it for that first single crochet. Okay, and then I just continue to work over it. Okay, and on the ninth single crochet, I start it in black, switch to gray to finish it, okay? And then I have two single crochets in gray. So on the second one, start it in gray, finish it in black. Now I'm just gonna finish out that row with 16 single crochets in black. Okay. Now, really quick, I'm just gonna come back over here. I'm gonna pull this tail a little bit tighter and trim it, because that was the tail that I wove in from changing the colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and just trim that off so that I don't have to deal with it or think about it anymore. And then now I'm on row five. So again, I'm working from right to left and I'm gonna do 16 single crochets in black continuing to carry along this yarn. Now, as you go, you'll notice that your yarns that you're carrying along start to get twisted. And that's because you're always dropping one yarn and picking up the other one in the same direction. So as it starts to get annoying where it's harder to work with, you can just turn your project just kind of twist it in the opposite direction so that your yarns aren't tangled anymore. Okay, now put my hook back in and I'm gonna work row five here. On the 16th, I'm changing to gray, doing just one single crochet in gray. So start it and then switch right back and then finishing off the row in black. Okay, turning row six. We're gonna work from left to right. So I start with 11 single crochets in black, one in gray, and then 15 in black. On the 11th, switching to gray doing that first half of a stitch in gray, finishing with black, and then coming back and doing those 15 black. So I'm just gonna keep following the pattern up, and then I'll pick it back up when I introduce the teal here. So just keep following.
Okay, so now I've made it to row 10, which is where I introduce the third color, which is the teal fish. So I'm gonna start with eight single crochets in black and then add in the teal for that one single crochet. So on the eighth, I'm starting the single crochet in black, dropping those yarns, picking up my teal and grabbing that and doing just one single crochet in teal. Now, I'm gonna have now black and gray that I'm carrying along. So it's just making sure I'm always keeping good tension in all of them and making sure that I'm picking up the right color each time, basically. Okay, so I did my one single crochet in teal. Now I have four in black. So I'm just carrying along those other yarns, including the tail of the teal so that I don't have to weave it in later. On the fourth, I'm switching to gray and doing three single crochets in gray. Working over the black and the teal yarns. On the third, switching back to black. And then finishing the row with 11 single crochets in black. Okay, there's row 10. Now row 11, I'm gonna work again from right to left. So I'm gonna start with 11 single crochets in black. So when I turn, I'm gonna carry along both of those yarns, making sure that they're over my hook for that first single crochet. Okay, on number 11, switching to gray working three single crochets in gray. Switching back to black. Working three single crochets in black. Switching to teal, two single crochet in teal. Oops, on the second one, switching back to black, which I forgot about, which sometimes happens. Okay, now four single crochets in black. Switching to gray, so now I'm starting this third fish, so one single crochet in gray. So I do that partial stitch in gray, finish it in black, and then finish off the row with three single crochets in black. So that was row 11. So I'm just gonna lightly mark those off. Now row 12, I'm gonna work from left to right. So I'm gonna start with two single crochets in black. So now that I have three yarns, the twisting is gonna get more annoying. Um, you can still untwist them, but since you're dropping them different numbers of times, you know, some of the yarns are gonna be more twisted than the others. It is what it is. You kind of get used to it and just pull out a little bit extra. And this isn't a huge pattern that we're gonna be carrying along this yarn forever or anything. So it'll be okay. You'll get used to it, but you can untwist it some as you go. 
So one, two single crochets in black, switching to gray, and I have two single crochets in gray. Switching back to black, and then we have four single crochets in black before the teal. On the fourth, switching to teal, three single crochets in teal. Switch to black, three single crochets in black. Switch to gray, three single crochets in gray. Switch to black, and then finish off the row with 10 single crochets in black. Okay, so as you can see, our fish are starting to come together here, and we'll just kind of keep following that same pattern again until we're done basically so once we finish with the color changing you can kind of just finish the row if you feel like you need to work back some um, with crocheting over the tail to secure it more go for it but i'll um, pick back up here when i'm finishing the colors so just keep following the pattern on up and i'll pick back up at row 27. Okay, so I'm picking back up at row 27, which is worked right to left again. So I'm going to start with the five single crochets in black. Switching to teal. One single crochet in teal. Switch back to black. three single crochet in black, switching to gray, and two single crochet in gray. Switching back to black after the second. So that is the last of the gray in the pattern. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue to carry that yarn along for the rest of this row while I just finish all of these black single crochets. So I'm still just carrying along the teal and the gray. And then at the end of the row, I will just cut the gray and having it worked over for the rest of the row is secure enough for me. Now, if you are concerned about it coming out, you can turn and work, you know, part of another row with working over it. Um, but I've never found it to be an issue, especially with like, this is gonna be a scarf, so I'm not gonna be washing it a ton and um, it's not gonna have a ton of like wear and tear but if you are concerned about it just turn and work another row or part of the next row still carrying along that gray so what i'm going to do though is just take that gray pull it down a little bit tighter cut it untangle it from my mess here of tangle <laughs> And then just kind of loosen it back up so that it's a good tension there. Okay, now I'm gonna take this opportunity to untangle 
what I have here because now that there's only two, it's gonna be easier to unwind it. So again, just turning that project toward me until it's untwisted here. Okay. All right, here we go. Now I'm gonna continue with the rest of these um, rows here. And then when I get to row 29 and finish this one, I'm just gonna do the same thing where I carry that teal all the way to the end and then just cut it. Okay, so I'm done with row 29 now, which is the last of the color changing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that and cut it. And then stretch it back to the right size. And now I'm just gonna finish my last two rows of single crochet here in black. And that will give my single crochet kind of block at the end a nice kind of border to it with two single crochets on all sides. And then I'll go into the scarf pattern. Okay, and there is the finished first end of my scarf. And now we'll get into the long part of the scarf pattern. Now that we've finished the logo part, we're gonna work on the scarf part. Um, so the length of the scarf. And I want my scarf to be a little bit narrower for the part that actually goes around my neck because um, this is just a little bit too wide for me. So I'm gonna do some decrease stitches. So I'm gonna turn and I'm going to half double crochet. So um, with that, you yarn over, insert hook, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. And I'm just gonna do it straight into that first stitch. I'm not gonna chain or do anything else for the half double crochet. Now, I want to decrease. So to do a half double crochet decrease, I'm gonna double crochet two together. So I yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then I go straight into my second half double crochet here. So yarn over, insert hook, pull up a loop, and now I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all five loops on the hook. Okay, and so that was a decrease. Now I'm gonna crochet in each stitch across till I get to the third from the last. So, I had the one half double at the beginning, then a decrease, so that's two stitches. Three, four. So that's number 23. Now on number 24, I'm gonna half double crochet two together again. So yarn over, insert hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through all five loops. And then I have one um, half double crochet left for the final stitch of this row, and that gets me to 25. So by doing a decrease at the beginning and the end of the row, I decreased from 27 to 25 stitches. So now I'm gonna turn and do the same thing again with half double with decreasing at the beginning and the end of the row. So I'm gonna do a half double crochet. Okay, now I'm gonna double crochet two together again. Sorry, half double crochet two together for a decrease. Okay, so that's two stitches. Now I'm gonna half double crochet 19. Okay. So 19 plus the two, so I'm up to 21 stitches in this row, but half double crocheting 19, and then I decrease again. So do yarn over, insert hook, pull up a loop in the next two, and then yarn over and pull through all five. And then final 
half double crochet in that last stitch. So again, I decreased again. So now I went down from 27 initially to 25. Now I'm at 23 stitches. Okay. And then what I'm doing is I went from single crochet to half double crochet. Now I'm going to go to double crochet and I'm gradually increasing the height of the stitches so that it's not like a sudden line where the pattern changes and it makes it a little bit more subtle. So now I'm going to do double crochet with decreases as well. So to start a double crochet row, I'm going to do stacked single crochets instead of chaining to get up to the next height. So to do a stacked single crochet, I'm going to insert the hook, yarn over, right, in the very first stitch, and then yarn over and pull through two. So just a single crochet stitch. And then I'm going to take my hook and put it through the middle of that single crochet stitch. So the two loops that we got, that we pulled this last through, loop through, basically I'm going to split them. So it's hard to see on the black yarn, um, but if you're interested, you can check out my video about um, to chain or not to chain, and I show how to do all of those techniques. Okay, so the next, I did the one stacked single crochet, that counts as a stitch. So that's my first like double crochet stitch. Now I'm gonna double crochet two together. To do that, yarn over, insert hook in your next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now leave those two loops on the hook, yarn over, insert hook in the next stitch, yarn over again, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. And that's a decrease in double crochet or double crochet two together, okay? So now, I'm gonna double crochet across until the last three and then do another decrease. Okay, so that was 17 double crochets and now I'm at my last three, so I'm gonna do another decrease. So double crochet two together, yarn over, insert hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two yarn over, insert in next stitch, pull up loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. And then the final um, stitch goes into the stacked single crochets at the beginning of the previous row. Okay, so you can see that we're starting to shrink and that is the goal to get it to more um, flexible and thinner shape for the neck part of the scarf. Okay, so I'm gonna turn and do the same thing again. So another row of double crochet with decrease twice. So gonna start with the stacked single crochets again. Yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through to decrease. Okay, single crochet across, sorry, double crochet across until the last three, because then I'm gonna do the decrease and then double crochet in the final stitch. Okay, so decreasing again. And then double crochet in the final stitch. And now I'm down to 19 stitches across. So I'm to the width that I want now. So now I'm gonna change to treble crochet to just have more height to the stitch and it's a looser stitch so the scarf will be more flexible and a little bit more comfortable. Um, and the length of the scarf I'll be working all in treble crochet. So I'm gonna do 47 rows of treble crochet. So turn for a treble crochet, I'm gonna start with stacked single crochets again. So I'm gonna do three, cause it's a treble crochet. So three stacked single crochets. One, two, three. 
okay and then treble crochet you yarn over twice at the beginning and then you're inserting the hook pulling through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two the biggest thing with most of these basic crochet stitches except the half double crochet is you're always like pulling through two loops on the hook each time you yarn over so just the more initial wraps that you have the more times you have to yarn over and pull through too and then you just want to make sure that you always have 19 stitches in your row so you can count as you go you can count you know periodically after it just depends on your comfort level with crocheting um, in terms of the counting another thing that's a benefit of doing this decrease on this specific scarf pattern is when doing the logo and carrying along the yarns and doing all those color changes it's a lot easier to um, accidentally crochet tight on the color changing like logo part and doing the single crochets sometimes people including myself um, crochet a little bit tighter and then once you get to these taller stitches it's a little bit looser and so when you crochet looser the project wants to grow a little bit so by doing this decrease here through the change in stitches um, you're not going to notice if your tension changes just a little bit and so a little bit of a side benefit of doing that decrease but now I'm just going to continue working treble crochet rows with the stacked treble crochets, so, or sorry, the stacked single crochets. So three single crochets at the beginning of each row, 19 stitches across. And again, I'm going to do 47 rows of treble crochet. So I'll pick up because that would be super boring to watch me crochet 47 rows of treble crochet. So I'll pick up when we come back to the other end of the scarf where we're gonna be replicating this on the other end. Okay, I have now finished 47 rows of treble crochet. So I did my logo and then the decreases, 47 rows of treble crochet with 19 stitches across. And now we're gonna work on increases to get back to the number of stitches for the logo, which is 27. So we're just gonna reverse what we did on the other end. So um, we started with half double crochet, decreasing double crochet, and then we went into our treble crochets. And so I'm gonna do um, the opposite. So now I'm gonna start with two rows of double crochet with decreasing sorry, with increasing at the beginning of the end. So let's get my hook. My hands are freezing right now. So this is gonna be kind of clunky. Um, when my hands are cold, crocheting gets much harder, but that's okay. So let's insert my hook. And now I'm gonna turn. And then we're gonna do the two rows of double crochet with increases. So I'm gonna start with um, stacked single crochets and I'm gonna do two of them because I'm going down to a double crochet now. So two stacked single crochets to get up to the height. Oh my goodness, I can't crochet when my hands are this cold. Okay. There we go. Okay, now we need to increase. So I'm gonna do two double crochets in the same stitch. So in the second stitch, I'm doing two double crochets in the same one. Okay, and then I'm just double crocheting in each across until I get to that second to last one. And then I'll put two double crochets in that one as well. Okay, so here's that second to last stitch. So I'm gonna do two double crochets in that same stitch. So just putting my hook through the same hole and then doing my final double crochet in the stacked single crochets from the previous row. Okay, now I'm gonna turn and do that same thing. So this is row 84 and I'm going to start with my stacked single crochets. So two 
of those. Okay, and then two double crochets in the next stitch. And then double crochet in each across till I get to that second to last stitch again. Okay, second to last stitch, putting two double crochets in that stitch, and then a double crochet in the stacked single crochets from the previous row. And you can see how that's growing again, just like the other side shrunk. So now we should be at 23. So we're at 19, then we increase twice. So we're at 21, and then we increase twice again. So we're at 23. So now I'm going to turn and do a row of half double crochets. So I'm going to start with just a half double crochet at the beginning and then an increase. So two half double crochets in the next stitch and then half double crochet in each stitch across. And by the end of this one, we were at 23. Now we increase twice. So we'll be back at 25 will be up to 25 and then we'll do it one more time to get up to that 27. Apparently cold makes my words hard as well as my fingers not work well. So anyway, we're going for 27. So just increasing. So it's two rows of half double crochet with an increase on each end and then two rows of half double crochet with the increase on each end. And each time you increase, since we're increasing on both the right and the left, we are adding two stitches to each row. So you can know that you got the right number by just keep adding two. So we went from 19 to 21 to 23. Now we're at 25. So this is the second to last one. So half double crochet there and then same hole, half double crochet again, and then finish off in that stacked single crochet with our final half double. Okay, now I'm going to turn, do the same thing again. Okay, so start with half double crochet. Half double crochet two in the next. and then in each across. Okay, so this is number 25, which is my second to last. I'm gonna do two in that one, so 26. And then in my final one, that's 27. Okay, so now I'm back up to the width that I had for my logo. The same number of stitches, okay? So now we're going to turn back to our um, logo chart. And this time, instead of working from the bottom right, we're going to turn it over. Okay. So I'm going to be just flipping the pattern over and then I'll still work from the bottom right. You could also just look at it top left and work your way down back and forth. But I find that harder because um, my brain when I'm crocheting works from right to left and bottom to top. So turning and I'm going to start at the bottom right again. So I have two rows of solid black single crochet. So I'm going to start with that. And now for the next row, which is row 89, we're going to be working from right to left again. And I'm going to start with 22 single crochets in black and then color change. And we need to remember that this middle fish is the teal fish. So um, I'll switch to teal for that. 21, 22, okay, switching to teal and then finishing off in black. One, two, working over those teal yarns. So the tail and then the one that we're actually carrying along to work with. Okay, there we go. Now turning and doing the next row from left to right. So I start with two single crochets in black 
and when I turn, make sure that I am going under the teal yarns for the first um, insert hook, and then when I'm yarning over and pulling through, going over. All right, making sure the tension is right on that part, and then I'm just doing one more single crochet in black, switching to teal, three single crochets in teal, switching to black, and then finishing out the row with 22 single crochets in black. Turning and working the next row with 16 single crochets in black, and then I'm gonna introduce the gray again. Okay, two in gray. Switching back to black, three in black, switching to teal, just one in teal, switching back to black, and then finishing off the row with five black single crochets. Okay, so then it's just a matter of continuing on and I will number these to make that easier to follow. Um, and then I can just cross off as I go or, you know, just however it works best to keep track for your brain. But um just continue working back and forth until we get to the end all right finally here at the last row of color changes so this is row 115 where i'm finishing off the tail of the last gray fish so i'm just gonna finish this row and then i'll cut the gray yarn and finish the last two rows of single crochet in black. And then I'll fasten off and weave in my end. And I'll be all done with the chosen Three Fish logo scarf. All right, now to fasten off, I'm just gonna cut uh, about six inches here of my yarn, pull up one extra loop, and just pull it all the way through, and then tighten it down. And then I'm gonna take my yarn needle to weave in the end. Um, I just find that it's faster, easier to use a yarn needle versus a crochet hook. If you prefer to use a crochet hook, absolutely, by all means, do it. Um, if you've never tried to use a yarn needle to weave in the ends, I do suggest trying it because I had not tried it for a very, very long time. I crocheted for, since I was a kid and I always used my crochet hook um, just because I honestly, I didn't even know about the option of a yarn needle. Um, my mom weaved in ends with a crochet hook and I just learned from her and did what she did. So um, I always used my crochet hook, but I find that it's much more efficient to use the yarn needle than the crochet hook. And I feel like it's more effective as well. Um, I'm sure there's arguments about that both ways, but I just find that it gets it, at least when I do it, a little bit more secure when I use the yarn needle versus a crochet hook. So again, if you haven't tried it, do recommend trying it. Um, there's not a right or a wrong way 
to weave in ends. I have looked to see if there's a definitive answer for that. And the answer is no. You can weave them in however you want, as long as you do it for a sufficient length where it won't unravel uh, with use. So there is the chosen three fish logo scarf. Overall, not too bad of a pattern to work up. The color changing gets a little bit annoying just untangling the yarns, but otherwise um, truly fairly easy. And the chart and the written pattern are gonna be linked on my website, which will be in the description below. So enjoy, I hope you make it. So here is that finished chosen crochet scarf. Um, I'm gonna stand up so you can kind of see the length, but it goes, you know, with the wrap around and I like to make mine different lengths but um, for me this is the perfect length of scarf if you wanted to alter the lengths change the number of treble crochet rows you do but for me this is the perfect length of scarf it's about 70 inches um, so I really hope that you enjoyed this video I hope that you enjoy this scarf it's super nice paired with my um, the chosen against the current hoodie which um, you know, it's got the Against the Current logo on the back and the colors match really well. So I'm really, really happy with the outcome of this scarf and I really hope that you choose to make one and sport some chosen gear that, you know, is homemade and definitely meaningful on a lot of different levels. Um, and the scarf probably, I didn't time myself because um, I was working on it kind of in between different things, but um, I would say maybe three hours to make would be my guess. Probably a little bit less than that, honestly. Um, takes a little bit longer when I'm filming, but maybe two to three hours to crochet this scarf. So not too bad. And again, I'm just really excited with how it turned out. So please check out the rest of my channel for a bunch more crochet content. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day.